the rumor about the NFL this season is the NHL is going to strongly study what they're doing because the NFL is traveling. They're, they're, all the guys get to go home. Uh, it's, it's like a normal season except for no fans. <laughs> and so the NHL wants to see how this goes because if it does go well, the NHL believes that they'll copy whatever model the NFL does. Oh, now, it's just, just like us in high school. How do, how do you strongly study nothing? <laughs> I, I assume there are some protocols in place, but yeah. I imagine it's that strict. I, I assume before the end of this uh, NFL season, we're going to see some scenario where it's 5,000 fans in the, in the, stadi- in, in the stadium for most, most teams. I agree. Now when we're getting towards December and November, the season's coming to an end, at least for the playoff games, for sure, I yeah. think. Yep. I also we'll think see. it's it's interesting in in, uh, in Americans this would be completely foreign to you. Uh but Canada went through an entire day yesterday with nobody dying of COVID. Which yeah. while the cases are on the rise what they're seeing is that it's people under the age of 40 who refuse to social distance and want to party. Um but they're they're finding more effective ways of caretaking for those because there's no real treatment available. But as things like that start to improve, you start to receive to see a return to normalcy and I'm not trying to say that uh, we're there yet. Uh, or even close to there yet. However, it's sort of interesting to see that, um, you know, with the, uh, with the NFL and with, you know, the, the effects that COVID is going to have on pro sports. I mean, we talked about this a couple episodes ago, and I know it's Steve's favorite topic of conversation. It was during the lockdown. When will the season be back? Mm-hmm. We already have to start asking, when will the season be back? Because how, I, does, how does I'm the season actually- coming back affect Arizona Coyotes' ownership? <laughs> what do you mean and also what? the next lockout the arizona coyotes ownership who by the way were late on their player bonuses did you hear that no oh i oh, yeah. um i haven't read the article in full yet but i did see that mess from frank saravalli i assume we are getting to that um we can sure if you want so. to sorry i was just interrupting you to make a joke Oh, okay. Go no, on. Go on. <laughs> well, it's just going to be, I just, I, th- you know, the beginning of the NFL season is always kind of monumental. If, if you love football, uh, Jesse and I love football. Steve's yeah, hot. you're, I, you're I, I, I can't, I can't, I just, I try and I can't. And, and that's just, fair. That's fair too much. Can't There's like too much going on. All right. Um, but the, uh, I think, I think it'll be very interesting for the NHL to see what happens to the NFL. And I, th- I also think it'll be very interesting to see what happens with the healthcare systems on both sides of the border and how they choose to treat this stuff. Because um, if you get to the point where you have COVID cases, but nobody's dying, it changes the parameters of how things are going to go significantly. That doesn't mean there's not long-term effects for people that get it. That doesn't mean that there aren't health hazards. Uh, and it doesn't mean you don't want to keep the numbers down. However, what they're trying to do, at least in Canada, the stated goal is, mass death events that's the actual thing that they want to avoid and what they saw in italy and spain were mass death events and they want to avoid that here in canada um obviously in the states it's state to states you know what they're saying they're trying to do um but it'll be i'm, I'm kind of fascinated to see what'll happen and i it, it'll be interesting when we sit down five years from now and have a conversation when this is hopefully somewhat cleared and in the past and we can actually look at it with sort of you know, um, 2020 vision in the back and see who did, who did the dumbest things and who did the smartest things. And what at the time we thought was extremely stupid that were turned out to be smart and vice versa. It'd be very, very interesting. I'm fascinated. I think it's gonna be very, a very cool conversation. But I think to just off the top, you were mentioning like, uh, the NFL season starting signals when the NHL season is going to start and them releasing that free agency, free agency is going to start on October 9th. It kind of Thanksgiving. Right. It kind of gives everybody a date to work back from because you think, okay, if October 9th is the equivalent to July 1st, then then we're going to try and give them two months here. So we're thinking like end of December, mid-December, and then maybe delay it till January to get some more information. But it gives us kind of like a way to plan to see like, okay, this is when hockey is going to return. This is when an 82 season, 82 game season is going to kick off. Right. And, and for anybody uh, paying attention and loving hockey, we'll probably be watching July and August hockey again next season. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> so, it's that, be you cool. know what? I didn't hate it. <laughs> I really liked it. Also, uh, with just, the NFL returning and uh, the Raptors being eliminated and the Leafs being long gone, uh, it focuses everybody's attention to the Toronto Blue Jays, who are going to make the playoffs. They and are. It's going to be fun. 